Here it is, Understanding the Language of Dreams, Course 1. In this course, you'll learn why dreams are so mysterious. You'll learn about the six visional states taken from the Bible relating to visions. You'll discover the different domains of a dream. You'll also learn how to determine what role you and others play in your dream, which is important for correct interpretation and much more. I've also included fun exercises so you can practice what you've learned. Just click on the link below and get your course of understanding the language of dreams. It's God's will for you to be blessed in every area of your life, including your finances. And God can speak to you in a dream that lets you know you've entered a season of prosperity. So let's talk about eight dreams revealing progress, promotion, and financial breakthrough. The Bible says the earth is the Lord's and everything in it, and that he owns the cattle on a thousand hills. Like a good father, God wants to bless and prosper you in all areas of life, and that includes your finances. Prospering financially empowers us to be a blessing to others. So I'm going to talk about eight dreams revealing progress, promotion, and breakthrough. Number one, rain. So you can have a dream that it's raining outside, but yet it's sunny. You're enjoying the rain. You feel very happy. You feel optimistic while you're standing in the rain. This could represent that you'll soon experience showers of blessings. In Ezekiel 34, 26, God said, I will send down showers in season there will be showers of blessing. So depending on what's going on in the dream, rain can be pointing to a financial breakthrough. Number two, money. So receiving money in a dream can be literal. It can be revealing that you're entering a season of prosperity and that God will cause others to bless you. Likewise, if you dream that you find money, this can also be speaking that financial breakthrough is on the way. So receiving money in a dream can be showing that your time to prosper has come. Number three, a cow. In biblical times, cows were a symbol of wealth. The Bible says that Job was wealthy and had, among other animals, a thousand oxen. And in Psalm 50 and 10, God said, For all the animals of the forest are mine, and I own the cattle on a thousand hills. So you may have a dream that you're caring for a cow, or perhaps cows are in your yard, or you may be milking a cow in the dream. Now, a cash cow is an American expression, and this means a business that produces a steady flow of cash over its lifetime. So if you dream that you're milking a cow, this could be revealing that you're about to receive a flow of prosperity and abundance. Number four, open doors or gates. So dreaming about an open door can represent a door of opportunity, including a financial door of opportunity. In this type of dream, God may be showing that he's opening new doors of opportunity that would lead to financial increase and abundance. Number five, flying. So you can have a dream where you're flying and this tends to represent elevation or soaring in a particular area of life. And one of those areas can represent financial increase. God may be revealing that you are going to another level in your finances and that you're going to experience growth and increase concerning your financial situation. Number six, milk and honey. You can have a dream where you're drinking milk with some honey in it. In Exodus 3, 8, 
It says, I have come down to rescue them and to bring them up to a land that is good and spacious to a land flowing with milk and honey. Milk and honey in the Old Testament was a sign of increase and abundance. So if you have a dream where you're drinking milk with honey in it, or you're eating something with honey on it, this could represent that financial increase is on the way. Number seven, olives. In ancient Greece, olives were a symbol of peace and prosperity. In Deuteronomy 8, it says, For the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land with brooks, streams, and deep springs gushing out into the valleys and hills, a land with wheat, barley, vines, and fig trees, pomegranates, olive oil, and honey. Then in Psalm 128 and 3, it says, Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots around your table. So if you dream that you're eating olives or you're using olive oil, this could be indicating that you're in a season of financial progress and promotion. Number eight, fruit. So you can have a dream involving fruit, could be apples, oranges, grapes, all types of fruit. This could represent a spiritual or even a financial increase. In Proverbs 3, it says, honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. Then your bonds will be filled to overflowing and your vats will brim over with new wine. So if you have a dream that you're eating or receiving fruit or maybe you're harvesting fruit or even picking fruit from a tree, this could represent that you've entered into a prosperous season of life and a season of financial breakthrough. Hey, have you picked up your copy of The Mysterious Language of Dreams yet? In this book, I go more in depth about dreams and dream interpretation than I do on my YouTube videos. I talk about the depth dimension of dreams, dream layers. I talk about the time dimension of a dream. Also, dreams and the imagination, which is quite interesting. I also have put over 40 real life, actual dreams that people have dreamt in the book for you to practice your interpretation skills. Also in the back of the book is a dream dictionary with over 400 dream symbols. So I've left a link in the description box below where you can go and pick up your copy of the mysterious language of dreams today. Have you had any of the types of dreams I mentioned in this video? If so, I want to hear about it. Leave it in the comments section. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you're not a part of the dream team, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become a part of the dream team. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so that you won't miss any upcoming videos. I'll talk to you next time.